What do you got there? A gummy bear. That's a giant gummy bear, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see how big that thing really is. That's a big gummy bear. It is. It's a monstrous gummy it bear. It is a five pound gummy bear from Bat 17 or whatever the hell it is. Um, we're going to shoot it with a couple rounds today. Uh, what do you got first? Uh, we got a, uh, is that a 380? Try a 380 first, yeah. Uh, kind of a, a hollow point. We saw what it did to it with a 22 um, hollow point and a, and a CCI stinger previously. And, and that was a little gummy bear. We got a big gummy bear now, a lot thicker. And we're going to start out with this th little 380 here. Hey, what are you shooting at? Is that? It's my three, or my wife's. Yeah, my wife's 380. Oh, okay. And he, I, he's never shot it before, so hopefully he'll hit the thing. Okay, hit it. Better not break my TV, by the way. What the hell happened? You hit it. You hit it dead on, no. I think. Oh my God. As you can see, you're lucky you didn't mess up my new t Samsung TV. He hit it, you, that was a beautiful shot. First time you ever shot it. Yeah. Uh, there's the, the, I don't see it in there. I can't believe that. It, it stopped <laughs> it. I, So we're gonna fire 45 ACP out of a Ruger. Was that a P? P345. Okay. That's. I was gonna. I was gonna say a 346, but <laughs> I see you have that. This is a earlier slightly model. Slightly different logo. <laughs> right. Go ahead. <laughs> I saw the bullet fall off the back. <laughs> Another beautiful placement. It almost that's the problem. You hit the other one where it was weakened. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, it did go through. And you jacked up my new TV. I'm sorry. Bullet didn't have enough energy though to, to uh, go through the TV though. And actually bounced out. You may have been able to survive that. I would think so. You'd I mean that's just pretty hefty bruise. That's just a plastic bezel there. How about, okay, let's try the wax slug, a 12 gauge wax slug. Those who don't know what it is, it's birdshot mixed with uh, actually crayon wax, <laughs> which binds the shot together into a solid frangible slug. Um, I like to compare it to a, like a breaching round. It's a frangible, meaning it breaks apart when it hits. So we're gonna, we're gonna shoot this gummy bear from a little farther away this time. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, the, the, the wax lug, it's way down inside there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, did not go through. There's, looks like the 380 is right on the surface there. I almost get it, but 
thing open up like crazy, but it didn't didn't go all the way through and hit the TV. The wadding though is what whacked the TV. Wax slug didn't do crap. That's that's amazing. How about yeah. a deer slug? <laughs> a, a foster slug. Let's try that. Okay, uh, finally a deer slug. Uh, I think it's rated for 15, 1600 feet per second. One ounce foster slug, rifled slug. Mossberg 590. They're only 25 feet away or some. Can't miss. Okay, hit it. Whoa. <laughs> I hit it with some authority there. I think. That one probably went through. Okay, hit it. I think you're hitting the same spot. Yeah. And you're, I mean, there's your first shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot. And it, that blew through. I think, I think it's just a, it's just a really weak, there's a lot of the, the lead shot from the, from the uh, wax slug. But that, there's a wadding, you know, it's, it, uh, paper wadding from the, the slug. It didn't um, go through the TV. It definitely hit it, but it didn't go through the TV. Let me push that. So surprisingly, I mean, I, I, what do you think? Shoot the damn TV with the just a slug without the gummy bear, just to show you that you know it's not like a super tough TV. I think so. <laughs> Okay, hit it. Wow. <laughs> Once again, we were really surprised at, you know, at the stuff that we threw at this thing, how much it resisted it. I'm pulling out fragments of that foster slug. Matt had landed all the rounds in the same general area and the friction actually made the gummy bear real gooey, and but despite that, it was really tough, and um, you know, it actually killed most of the energy of these rounds. I think if we had used a hollow point 45, it would have easily stopped it. But um, yeah, it was really neat. We couldn't shoot any rifle rounds; just do the location. Hopefully, we'll do some more stuff later. Thanks for watching.